she's the example. Well, I, if you notice, I don't challenge men on their their lifestyle. It, it, Anton said what he said, and I'm happy for him. And whatever, however he his life is going, I'm happy for him. Farrell wanted more in his life like that. I'm happy for him. As long as you're doing and your family doesn't try to corrupt mine or be in the way of mine, that's the only time we're gonna have a problem. Oh, hey, if he's saying that he's perfect in his life, hey man, more power to you. That that doesn't trigger me. I'm happy that he's happy. I think a lot of times, a lot of people hear somebody speak good about about themselves and saying they're sitting on a soapbox. You post to. They're, I mean, who? Like, I don't understand what's wrong with praising yourself. Why Nothing is that? Getting, why, well, well, when you do it, you said the word arrogant. I heard the word arrogant come out. Normally, when when you say arrogant, that that is that is a, a sneak diss. Right. I'm Italian. I don't know if y'all use it like that, but that that's not like a sneak diss to me. Like, I talk the same way, so I'm not defending him. I'm just defending the point. The point is, is that this man stood on his soapbox. Farrell stood on his. They Their whole life is different. It's all right. They're two different men running two different programs. No, and no, no, no. You're, 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 you're absolutely, absolutely right. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. I was really speaking on the perfection aspect of the conversation. And you don't like the speech. fact that you don't like the and, fact and it that just, I'm right there. And it there. just kind of trickled down into it's, it's not. It's, it's not even like You don't that. like the fact that I'm right there under Jesus, huh? Yeah. Don't worry about it. You'll get there. You'll we're get we're there. all under Jesus. We're all under Jesus. No, we not. No, we not. Some of y'all is under. under uh, no, some of y'all is hitting. Some of y'all is going to bust hell wide open. No, no, no. Some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all is right under the ground. You can be under Jesus, but we can't. Who are you No, some of y'all, some, some of y'all, no, I ain't speaking to nobody on this panel. Who are you? I'm not speaking to nobody on this panel, but some of y'all gonna bust hell wide open. Y'all, y'all sponsor the devil. Some of y'all is straight up demons. Some of y'all are straight up demons, and y'all don't hold them accountable. Y'all make sure that y'all celebrate them. Y'all, y'all admonish them. Y'all follow behind them. They do some of the most egregious things in the world. But I want you to keep holding me accountable because it's it's a reason why I'm here. I'm gonna change your life. Amen. Yeah, I remember you. I remember you from what? the last time you was on the panel. Is, is, is oh, it, you do? It's a, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a means of changing people's lives in the aspect of marriage and success. I'm sorry, say that again? Hey, what was a that? means of trying to change people's lives in the aspect of marriage and success. You don't have to necessarily be married in order to be successful. That's why I'm, I'm just asking. I'm saying it. I'm yeah, no, I'm answering your question. Yeah, because what I'm, I, what, what I'm, what I'm getting at basically is like you know, it's certain things that, it, me personally, and I don't, I don't mean no disrespect at all, but me personally, you know, with certain things because I move a different type of way. You know, you may be close to perfect in, in certain areas, but you know, it may be a flaw in your character and your integrity here and there. Where what integrity? I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, the way you call it out, the way you speak when you talk about when you talk about women, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like even things like when you when you addressing it, when you addressing your wife, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, had, you had an episode before, you know what I'm saying? Like, put that bit to work. You know what I mean? Like like stuff like that is just certain things that you kind of say to me, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, well, it makes me question that. I don't know you personally, you know what I'm saying? But when people say certain things. It raises an eyebrow. So for me, that type of stuff for me raises an eyebrow. That's that's. I mean, I think that that's cute. You know what I'm saying? But the fact of the matter is, it's all about the results. Now, I, I don't want to source it through. I don't want to get to the thick of things too early, answer. but we can. That's a typical alpha male answer. It's all about the results. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, all, it's, all, it's always that. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's never just really digging deep. I don't, I don't Let's know. Let's dig deep. Let's I'm dig deep. For me personally, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I had a, a very rough life. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been in therapy. I've done all that. But I understand myself on the highest level. You know what I'm saying? So when you talk about perfection, mm. I feel like in that area of me, I'm perfected myself in my areas. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't got no perfect life. Like You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't got no, I ain't super you know what I'm saying? Successful money wise and nothing like that. But my life overall, I'm very successful. I mean, I congratulations. I don't know you enough to be able to even have that conversation. All I know is what it is that you're communicating with me. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, but I'm just like, okay, when, when we're talking about marriage, you know what I'm saying? You know, which which is I don't have a problem with that. You know, most of my most of my people in my family, they married, they successfully married. They've been my sisters is married, they're younger than me, they've been married. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations to them. But for me personally, you know, when people get to judging on people that are not married as if they don't have the right stuff going on or their life ain't right because they not married. That's where my issue is. Who said in. that? You, you asked said, me a question and I said you don't have to be married in order to be successful. I didn't say that either. Who, who said, said that if you're not married, you're not right? When, we, when I first asked you a question about marriage, you, okay. said, you said you got the blueprint, correct? I do, to being successfully married. Being if you decide that you want to get married, then yeah. I have the blueprint for what that's supposed to look like from yeah. a successful perspective. Well, said, if you decide are... that you want to be single, that don't mean that you're not successful as a single person. It don't mean that you're not a good person. But if you want the blueprint for how to be successfully married, I have that. So what does that mean? What does that have to do with you now saying that I said that you can't be successful or you're not a good person or anything like that if you're not married? What does that I'm have to do with every, I'm saying everything is equating to marriage. No, it's not. What are you talking about? The same thing you're talking about. No, we're not talking about the same thing. I feel like you're projecting. I feel like you feel some type of way. I, why would I feel some type of way? For what because reason? you're putting words in my mouth that I didn't even say. Okay. You not? When did I say that you have to be married in order to be successful? At what point in this conversation did I ever say that? You didn't use the exact words, and I didn't say that's exactly what you said. But I, when I said something about it, you went straight to marriage. Is what I'm saying. I ain't saying this. Exactly no, what, what I said. did was I questioned your validity in your mm -hmm. life because you were spewing this stuff and this nonsense about how, oh man, it's the men and it's their fault and they give up too easy and whatever. So I had to understand you a little bit more, like, and I didn't like, judge you. I, hold on, hold on. I didn't judge you. I mm -hmm. asked you a question. I said, "Are you married?" You said, no, I don't even believe in X, Y, Z, monogamy and all of this other type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I said, yep, I get it, right? Because what I believe being successfully in a marriage or in a relationship looks like is marriage. So you can have your own standards, but based off of what it is that I see things, your life is not a reflection of the thing that you were advocating for in the beginning. That don't mean that you can't be successful as a single person. Don't mean that you can't be successful as a person that's don't, then getting into a relationship. But I feel like you're projecting because you were yeah, bothered nah, nah, by that's, that's, that I that's, called out. That's the obvious. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you said when you when you first started speaking on what I said and you said nonsense. Nothing that I said, nothing that you said that I said that you said that I said nonsense. You I don't ever, even know. I'm, I just lost. I'm, you said I'm a just, C student. You got to slow it down for me, big dog. I, nah, I can tell you, you, you an intelligent you dude. You got to be student if you perfect. What? what? I was just about to say, Mr. Perfect can't keep up? Absolutely. Mr. Perfect Absolutely. can't keep up? You can be a perfect. What's going on, Mr. Perfect? Now you can be a C student, student, yeah, now now you can be a student, student and absolutely nah, nah, be perfect. Nah, what I'm saying. What I'm saying. 100%. <laughs> Who told you that? These students are not perfect. They absolutely are perfect. As a matter of fact, most A and B students work for C students. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Most A and B students work for c students how is oh, that not a, a reflection of what oh, perfection okay, looks like yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that's a fact most a and b students work for c students that's a fact one thing I like matter of fact matter of fact matter of fact i'll go as so far as to say that the majority of the people that work for me is a students yeah me too one thing about i like about you Anton, you're gonna definitely find a way to turn the, like make the maneuver. conversation and the comment work maneuver. in your favor even yeah, if maneuver. you may be dead wrong i i really applaud that that takes a what am i dead what am i dead wrong a, about a, that takes a very high skill set and 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 i, I think that's dope i but think I, that you know, noel and pharaoh know each other i don't know that woman i don't know i don't know him so i'm sure you can <laughs> i'm sure you can tame her though why do it what I'm sure you my can man, tame her though. My man I is, could. My man is, my man is I could. Okay. I could. I'm okay. No, here, here's the, here's the reality. Here's the reality. I, I hate and I and I like the con I like his confidence. I like I like what it is that he stand for, and I respect him. I respect Pharaoh, right? I respect everybody, um, especially for even coming up here and communicating because I don't want this to be an echo chamber. I love it when people have a difference of opinion, and, and especially when they have pushback. But here's the reality, and this is just 
where I stand on it. I think that there are some inherently evil people. And when I say evil, I'm using that holistically, right? I'm saying that there are some people that you cannot tame. There are some people that's just determined to do some evil things. There are some people that you can't convert over or you can't rehabilitate them in order to think differently, or you can't convince them that a relationship or a marriage is good for them. There is just some people in this world that just does things differently. And whether it's as it relates to their cultural norms, whether it was related to how it is that they was raised, whether it relate is related to, to how it was drama, you know, the drama that came along with their, in their household, whatever that may look like. There are some women that are not marriage material. They are not relationship material. As a matter of fact, it's women that's just inherently for the streets. Yeah, that's just a fact though. Mm. And we, and I think that more importantly than men not giving up, I think that the real men know when to walk away. It has nothing to do with not giving it up. It has nothing to do with I'm a tough guy or I can tame any woman or anything like that. It has everything to do with understanding what your value is and what your worth is. And when you see people that's not worthy of being in your space or they're not worthy for you to spend your time on or you can identify the character of that person, you know, listen, I can't even be bothered with that type of woman because she's not marriage material. That's the that's the characteristic of a real man. A real man understand that he don't even have to conform over to what y'all think is dope. And as a matter of fact, a nerd could be a real dude. It don't mean that he got to be tough. It don't mean that he got to be great. It don't mean that he got to carry this, this charisma and all of this other type of stuff. A nerd could understand his value and his worth and he could align himself, which is being equally yoked with the person that actually adds value into his life and deserves what it is that he's supposed to be in. Real men understand that if you this great, it's not even certain women that's even supposed to be in your presence in the first place. And so I don't understand this culture that y'all living in. I don't, you're right. We are different. I am different. I understand that there's people that don't even deserve to be in my space. And I protect that. And I'm very careful about who it is that come around me and, 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 and the spirits that's coming around me and the certain women that don't even have uh, good intentions. I'm not trying to change this whole over from having bad intentions over into being good intentions. A real man understand that I got to slot her accordingly. That hoe is for the streets. And it's the difference between a hoe and a housewife. And, and the reason why the black community is so messed up is they think that we all supposed to be in the same in the same room and we all related and we all got the same uh, uh, objectives and we all supposed to hold each other down. No, we don't. We different. And I, and I agree with you on that. We are different. I'm a completely different monster than y'all. Yeah, I'm a completely different monster, too, because my love for my people is completely different. Although I do protect my space, it still don't mean that I can't implement certain things about myself that can help spark a change in a person. And I think that this is like this was my point is the implication is that if you're an older woman, you're what you just described, Anton. The implication here is that if you're older, you're for the streets, you're a hoe, you're this. You're that. And that was my point. That's not necessarily the case. I think regardless of age, if you come across somebody who is trifling, they don't need to be in your space, whatever the age is. And I think that that like that's the point. We we started this. We got way off. But we started this talking about the younger versus the old. And I really don't think it's boiled down to that. I think it's boiled down to how each individual is and my point about the whole perfection thing because i know 1950 was saying i matter of fact i forget what you were saying i forgive me um but my point about the whole perfection thing is nobody is perfect which means this whole concept of the man you lead to the point to where the woman is just moldable to where she has no, she has no um, say so in, in this process. She has no, she's just supposed to just be your puppet or whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't get where the men have been told that you, you have proven yourself to be so perfect to where you should do this all by yourself, all by yourself. I say the woman doesn't have, huh? Can I ask you a question? Of course. Are you like spiritual in any type of way? Just, just curious. Yes. Like what? What do you identify as? Identify as I believe in God. 
I believe that we are all created by God. And I believe that I I draw my connection and my energy from God. I'm very but like, familiar. is it a, like a specific religion or anything that you subscribe to? I don't, I don't claim a specific religion anymore. Okay. I feel you. So you don't like, you don't believe in the Bible and none of that, right? It's not that I don't believe in the Bible is that I have too many questions to, to be a Christian. You don't, you don't, you, don't, you, know like, you, don't, you, don't you don't like how women are represented in the Bible. Is that what it was? What? You don't like how women are represented in the Bible. Is that what it is? Because I find no, I, I find a lot of women walk away from religion because they don't they don't they don't want to identify as no, I, I, as, as following these, these 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 golden rules that he's talking about. No, that's not no. I just said I just said my no. I I don't one. I don't not believe in the Bible. I said I have too many questions. Okay. So that's why I don't identify as a quote unquote Christian. I was raised a Baptist Christian. Mm -hmm. my, like I, it's it's in my it's in my you know in my family, but no, I I'm not. No, it's not what you said. I just let me. So let's. So I, let, I I just got a question, and yeah. and you can choose not to answer, or you can say I don't believe in it or whatever. Yeah. Why did God in Matthew say, "Be ye therefore perfect"? I don't know. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. 